are back with comedian Dave Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol. You have to change it up a little bit, don't you? I've been saying that intro for so fucking long now that you've got to throw a little bit of fucking creativity into it. I'm quitting alcohol. It's like these cunts that play the fucking same song for their whole career, like the Stones. Apparently, my old man was telling me they just played in Coco Cabana or some shit like that to 1.5 million people. A bunch of 80-year-olds on stage playing songs everyone's heard a billion times. Honestly, the Stones are my favorite band, but you would have me hard-pressed getting me to go down and see them at the local fucking RSL now. A 200-seater around the corner from my house... I would barely go. I'd be like, that's a fucking five-minute walk. Who am I seeing anyway? They're not the 1960s stones. They've been billionaires for the last fucking 50 years. They aren't the counterculture. They are the culture. Can we just let go and give some new people some fucking room to breathe? It's so fucking annoying. Everyone just wants to hang around now. Hang around forever. Fuck off. Just fuck off Rolling Stones, even though you're my favorite band and I love your music. Just fucking move on. Al Pacino's having a fucking kid as well. Just fucking either die or disappear. Fuck off. I'm so sick of old cunts just hanging on. I'll be hanging on, by the way. I'll be hanging on for dear fucking life. I was thinking about that the other day. I was like, what if I live really long and I continue doing this podcast and... I outlive all the listeners, <laughs> all my friends and family, and I'm just some old cunt just sitting here saying the same shit. My rig's pretty good. I've almost got it. I've almost, I've almost got my rig to where I want it to be. Fucking like 50 years down the track. It's almost there. My hips are <laughs> still fucked. I'm still, I've still got a little bit of covering on top. But I'm just saying it to myself. No one's listening anymore. There's like two other dudes who jumped on board at the beginning. They're still alive, but they can't fucking hear anything. They can't see anything. They're still subscribed, so it looks like I still have listeners, but no one's actually listening. And then I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to start drinking again at like 98. I'm like, it's fucking time. Anyway, back to my fucking point. I've said that intro now 1,500 times. It's the same as like the Rolling Stones playing Satisfaction in that or Jumpin' Jack Flash. They played it so many fucking times that they need to add their own fucking creative twang to it just to keep them interested. And then you go out and see them and because they've played it so many times, they play it fucking however the fuck they want to play it and you're just in the crowd going, fucking play it like you've played it on the album, cunts. Shut up. Sound and play it exactly like the album. I think I, <laughs> I think I've said this before, but I went and saw fucking Eddie Vedder and Pearl Jam fucking years ago. I didn't actually go see them. I was working at the stadium, and I fucking just left the bar and went out and watched them. And fucking Pearl Jam just wanted to play their new album, whatever horse shit that was, and they got like five or six songs in and everyone's sort of looking at each other going what the fuck is this what the fuck's going on and eddie vedder was sick or something so his voice was a little bit fucked and they just kept on playing their new album no one knew any of the songs the stadium's like silent but everyone's thinking (laughs) he's gonna close with some good shit isn't he he's gonna bring out the classics to fucking wrap this up isn't he and he didn't he just fucking continued with the new album, and I think he bought Ben Harper out at one point to sing some fucking, I don't know, Diamonds on the Inside or some bullshit. That was like the highlight, and then they went back into the new album, and he's like, all right, I'm off, my voice is sore, I wasn't up to scratch tonight, but that's it, and he got like booed. He got booed off the stage. It was like, you suck. Play daughter. Play daughter, you can't. Jeremy, Jeremy. Don't grow as an artist. You topped out at 22. 
No one cares about your evolution. Fuck off and play the song exactly how you played it on the album. In the same order as well. Because I had a particular song. I used to play this album as I was jerking off. It was a whole routine. And that's what I want to fucking remember. Anyway, fucking, it's Monday. For those of you who haven't committed suicide, welcome back. And it's time for this week's Ask Boyle. It's Ask Boyle time. So if you have a question you would like answered by one of the greatest minds of the generation or any generation, then head to my website, boylecomedy.com. There's a section there for Ask Boyle. It's back up and running. It's all good. Fucking put your details in, ask your questions, send it through. I'll get to it. While you're there, sign up for the Patreon. It's a pint a month. It'll keep me going till I'm like 98, hopefully. The video podcast comes out tonight. You also get that fucking Spotify, exclusive Spotify page. Another interview with Andrew Roberts is coming, is in the pipeline. I fucking spoke to him yesterday. There's heaps coming. Also, while you're on my website, we're going to have the fucking Canadian tickets on sale this week. Toronto, Vancouver. Vancouver's the sixth. Two shows in Vancouver and Toronto. Toronto's the 8th, Friday the 8th, two shows in the Ront. Keep your eyes peeled for that. Anyway, let's get to this week's fucking Ask Boil. So, this week's Ask Boil was sent in by my man fucking Jace out there. Jason in, I don't know where the fuck he's from. I probably do, but I haven't fucking made a note of it. So, anyway, fucking here's Jason from, let's say the US. Here's Jason's question. Have you looked into the link between the trans explosion and autism? Well, Big Jace, you have come to the right place. You are talking about my two favorite categories, autistics and trannies. I actually fucking love autistics, by the way. They're the fucking most genuine fucking people going around now maybe besides down syndromes autistics and downies fucking good people they're good people trannies <laughs> on the other hand um also good people well i guess they would have to be because they're all autistic i think that's what he's implying no i haven't looked into the relationship between autism and transism I'd never even really thought about that link. I suppose there would be like some socially awkward fucking component to it. I've never investigated that. Actually, I've never investigated anything about autism or the trans thing. Besides like the vaccine and autism thing. But I never really looked into it. I just took it as gospel. What I would like investigated though is like clustering like the data on trans clustering you know like suicide clustering so with suicide they don't report it on the news because it fucking encourages other people to fucking commit suicide but if you look at a lot of the statistics what happens is someone will commit suicide somewhere and then within the next however long you'll see a cluster of other suicides around the same area I think it's usually like a couple of people removed or direct friends or whatever. And that's not all the time, but it does happen. It's a phenomenon. It's a phenomenon. I made that sound like it was deliberate, but it was not that deliberate. So that's an actual thing. The suicide clustering is an actual thing. What I would like to see is the clustering of like trans. Like if there's one person that turns trans in a certain social circle, how many other trans pop up around that circle or not too far away, not too far removed? That's what I would like investigated because I saw it in comedy, I think it was about fucking eight years ago or something, an Australian comedian went trans. A dude became a chick and then not long after, fucking like two or three other comedians dudes became chicks and then it sort of like spread and then there's quite a lot of 
male to female trans in the comedy community now, like way higher than there should be as a percentage of the population. Like the trans, uh, what are the trans population? It's like 0.0000001%. It's nothing, but we hear a lot about it. But the amount of trans people in fucking comedy now is way higher than the general population. And I'm not talking about fucking trans that have started comedy as trans. I'm talking about dudes that started comedy as dudes and then all of a sudden have become chicks. There's like five or six that I know just in like the Melbourne fucking Sydney scenes. That's a lot. They're not huge scenes. So that's what I would be interested in. But then you've got to control for a lot of things like... Mainly retarded people do stand-up comedy, so fucking the prevalence (laughs) of trans people is going to be higher. You know what I mean? Like, the amount of people with mental illness that do comedy is, like, 99%. So, with that much fucking mental illness in the actual comedy scene, there's probably going to be higher rates of all sorts of shit. Suicide, alcoholism, unfunny cunts. There's a lot going on. So I would like to see that connection. I would like to investigate that. I have no idea about autism and trans. I have no problem with trans either. I don't give a fuck what you do. I just don't like there's a fucking exclusive population that you can't just shit on. And also, I have a daughter now. And I was thinking about it the other day. She's eventually going to start playing sports. <laughs> she will eventually start playing sports. And if for some fucking reason she comes up against a fucking trans chick, I tell you what's going to happen. Fucking Boyle is going to fucking put on a fucking dress, become trans, and kick the absolute fuck out of them. That... <laughs> <laughs> that should be enough to get me fucking cancelled from everything. If the rest of the podcast wasn't enough, that should fucking close it out. Anyway, thanks for sending in your question, Jace. That'll do it for fucking today. If you're enjoying the podcast, give it a share around. Maybe not this episode, but yeah, give it a share around and I'll see you the fuck later.